Welcome to Engine Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider the concept of uh, circular convolution using Stockham's method, also known as the frequency domain approach. By this time, I assume that you people know how to solve this uh, numerical using uh, uh, time domain approach. I have done the video on that uh, uh, on the same concept, on the same numerical. So I would recommend you to watch that video as well and come back to this uh, method. This is the second method uh, which we can make use to get the circular convolution. So what Stockham says that uh, first get uh, x1 of k which is dft of x1 of n and also get uh, x2 of k. This is dft of x2 of n. Then uh, multiply them and call it as uh, y of k. So y of k will be equal to x1 of k into x2 of k. Later find uh, y of n. What would be y of n which is going to be idft of y of k. So this is the method of uh, Stockham. So frequency domain approach. So you, uh, considering this, I first need to find x1 of k, which is dft of x1 of n. And we already know the formula for that. Summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1. n is 4 as these two sequences are of length 4. So ca capital N must be 4. 4 minus 1, it is 3. x1 of n, wn. This is w4 to the power n into k or k into n, whatever it is. Uh, just uh, expand this summation uh, by placing the values of n, small n. So first I'll put n equal to 0, hence I would get x1 of uh, 0, w4 to the power 0. Plus x1 of 1 by placing n equal to 1, w4 to the power k into n, I would get it as k. Uh, just put uh, n equal to 2, x1 of 2, w4 to the power 2k. And lastly, place n equal to 3. Uh, this is x1 of uh, 3, w4 to the power 3k. So this is what I got. Then uh, just place the values of uh, x1 of 0, 1, 2, 3, which is given uh, in the numerical. x1 of uh, 0 is nothing but uh, 2. So I would get 2 plus x1 of 1, which is uh, 3, times w4 to the power uh, k plus x1 of uh, 2 which is nothing but 1 w4 to the power 2k and lastly I have got uh, that is x1 of 3 is also 1 w4 to the power 3k. So this is the simplified expression for x1 of k. Similarly I need to get the expression so simplified expression for uh, x2 of k. So I would write that x2 of k is equal to this is also dft of x2 of n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1, 4 minus 1 which is again 3. So here I have got x2 of n w4 to the power n into k. So again I need to expand this summation by considering the value of x2 of n. So first uh, let me expand this summation by placing n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. I would get x2 of uh, 0 w4 to the power 0 plus x2 of 1 w4 to the power k plus x2 of 2 by placing n equal to 2 w4 to the power 2k and the last term x2 of 3 w4 to the power 3k. So substitute the values now which are 1, 3, 5, 3. So I said it is a 1, 3, 5, 3. So you would get it as this is 1 plus 3 times w4 to the power k plus 5 times w4 to the power 2k. And lastly it is 3 times w4 to the power 3k. So now this is the expression for x2 of k. So we got what is x1 of k, we got what is x2 of k. Now the task is to look for uh, y of k, which is nothing but multiplication of uh, those two. So I will write that here. Therefore, finally y of k is equal to x1 of k into x2 of k. So what is x1 of k? We got it, which is here. So let me write that, which is equal to 2 plus 3 times w4 to the power uh, k plus w4 to the power uh, 2k I have got plus 
W4 to the power 3k. Similarly, the second sequence that is x2 of k which is nothing but 1 plus 3 times w4 to the power k plus 5 times w4 to the power 2k and lastly I have got 3 times w4 to the power 3k. So what is the next step? I need to multiply every term onto it. Uh, the first sequence has 4 terms, second sequence has got another 4 terms. So 4 into 4 results in 16 terms I'm going to get. Later I'll simplify them. So 2 into 1 which is 2 plus 6 times 2 into 3 is 6 times w4 to the power k plus 10 times w4 to the power 2k plus 6 times w4 to the power 3k. So these are first set of uh, the terms. Next I'll consider the second term. 3 times w4 to the power k. I would get 3 times w4 to the power k plus 3 into 3 which is 9 times w4 to the power k plus k. I'm going to get as 2k plus 3 into 5. 15 times w4 to the power k plus 2k which is 3k plus uh, 3 into 3 which is 9 times w4 to the power uh, k plus uh, 3k which is 4k and uh, lastly I have got the next one w4 to the power 2k w4 to the power uh, 2k plus 3 times w4 to the power uh, 3k plus 5 times w4 to the power 2k plus 2k which is going to be 4k plus the last term w4 to the power 2k into 3 times that is 3 times w4 to the power 2k plus 3k turns out to be 5k. So these are next uh, 4 terms and now I need to get the last uh, 4 terms which are I, this is one w4 to the power 3k plus I have got a w uh, before that it is a 3 times w4 to the power 3k plus k 4k plus 5 times w4 to the power 3k plus 2k 5k and the last term last term is nothing but 3 times w4 to the power 3k plus 3k turns out to be 6k so these are next to 4 terms so this is the expression for y of k. The only thing is I need to simplify it further which are the common terms. I just need to add them up. So constant is only one that is two that I will write plus a k term. This is the one, two. Yes, I guess there are only two terms with the power k. Next are of higher order. So I'll add these two. Uh, that is this becomes a 9 times w4 to the power k getting it then I would consider uh, the terms with uh, 2k this is the 1 2k this is the second term with the 2k third term with the 2k uh, that's it there are only three terms so 10 plus 9 19 plus 1 plus 20 times w4 to the power 2k then check are there any with uh, 3k this is the first term 3k second term with 3k third term with 3k and uh, fourth term with 3k there are four terms so what is the result this is 6 plus 15 21 plus 3 24 plus 1 25 so I'm going to get a 25 times w4 to the power 3k. Getting it? And last next term is uh, 4k. How many terms with 4k? Just need to check. And here I don't have. Here, yes, first term, second term, and uh, third term. Three terms are there. So just add them up. This is 9 uh, plus 5, 14 plus 3. 17. So 9 plus 5, 14 plus 3, 17 times w4 to the power 4k. Then think of uh, 
5k the term with 5k I guess there are not many just let me check that this is the one term this is another term so two terms are there uh, 3 plus 5 which is 8 times w4 to the power 5k and lastly there is only one term with the 6k let me write that this is 3 times w4 to the power 6k that's it hope I have covered all the terms yes all have been covered this is the result I could still not call this as the final answer as the simplified term because k can take only values 0 1 2 it cannot take the values uh, uh, 0 1 2 3 it cannot take the values 4 5 6 and so on because it is uh, the range is defined for 0 1 2 3 so if there are any terms falling outside the range I need to get them back to the original uh, range as k and n are periodic so 2 plus 9 times w4 to the power k this is allowed plus 20 times w4 to the power 2k this is also allowed plus 25 times w4 to the power 3k this is also allowed plus but this is not allowed 4k 4k is nothing but uh, 0 w4 to the power 0 which is 17 w4 to the power 0 I do not have to write that plus 8 times 8 times w4 to the power w4 to the power uh, 5k 5k is nothing but uh, 1 so I would get w4 to the power k plus 3 times w4 to the power 6k 6k is nothing but 2 so I would get w4 to the power 2k so now I just need to combine the terms so this is uh, 2 plus uh, sorry there are two constant terms 2 plus 17 which are 19 plus k terms how many are there this is 1 this is 2 so uh, 8 plus 9 17 times w4 to the power k plus uh, with 2k how many terms are there there are only 2 20 plus 3 which is nothing but 23 23 times w4 to the power 2k and lastly I have got only one term with uh, 3k which is 25 times w4 to the power 3k and this I would call as the final expression for y of k lastly I need to find y of n which is equal to idft of y of k here I've got the final answer I could write it is already there in the standard format I can write it as 19 comma 17 comma 23 comma 25 so I could write this as the final expression for y of n which is the circular convolution of two sequences x1 of n and x2 of n hope the concept is very clear if there are any doubts please let me uh, know them in the comment section I'll definitely answer them meanwhile uh, subscribe to our channel Eng classes and uh, uh, that, that's it uh, thanks for watching